I thought that was my last Facebook Live from Greenwich and Chris and I are just waiting for the boat. We decided to go for a walk along the Thames and this is what we found. Oh my God. Seriously, is that the most amazing building? We walked around the corner, it's like hidden a little bit around the corner and you can't see it's there. Now, I have no idea. For those of you that are in the UK, and the bells are going. Three o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. So for any of you that um, know Greenwich, uh, if you can give us some insights into what this building is, we know on the left side here as we walked up, uh, it's like a conservatorium of music and all the music is playing in there. So you've got students, college students that are playing their instruments. Um, it's just breathtaking, it really is. And um, we just thought we would bring this to you uh, because that's pretty special. Pretty special. It's just amazing. And I'm wondering if the designer again is Christopher Wren it be. because it it's, be it's got very, he's everywhere. Christopher Wren. Uh, back in the Victorian times, he planned and he was like the architecture, but they actually didn't call him an architect. Uh, he was like the architecture. Yeah, he, was he was like the architect, but they, they don't, didn't call him that back then. Um, Christopher Wren was a mathematician, uh, astronomy, and he was designing all of these incredible buildings. And this looks very similar with the domes on it to St. Paul's Cathedral and a couple of the Royal Naval College, right. Janey. Janie, okay, it's so it, it's it's just breathtaking. It's incredible. There's hardly anyone here. It's like, where is everyone? Where are all the tourists? And the fact that you can actually get this full access here is incredible. Um, so it's the Royal Naval College, and um, what an amazing place this is. And then, if you go, if I swing around to the Thames, now you can see, if you can see in the far distance that little dome just over my shoulder over this side that's the other side of the tunnel that I was talking about in the previous video so 150 feet down they've put or built a tunnel in 1899 that goes from this side of the Thames to the other side of the Thames and it took workers from one side to the other and animals and stock but they also had a ferry service that ran as well but then due to fog or weather conditions that ferry couldn't always run so they needed a, a more secure way a more stable way of getting from one side of the Thames to the other and that's that little dome in the background on, over my shoulder this side so um, yeah just uh, we were going to leave it there but we just really wanted to share with you this gem of a building that we uh, discovered just by coming around the corner here and just going for a walk and a lot of things that you do discover is really just by foot traffic foot walking and um, discovering uh, the buildings what we might do Chris is go back to the left I want to show them that alcove here um, it was it was beautiful um, and it's like the conservatorium of music where they have all the uh, the instruments playing down in the down through the sort of corridor of this building this was originally the site of the palace of placentia placentia more commonly known as greenwich palace the birthplace of tudor queens mary I and elizabeth I and reputedly the favorite palace of henry the eighth oh. janie that's brilliant that's amazing I'm so impressed. We need you on this tour, right? Like, it's just brilliant when you know a little bit more information. I suppose we could have used Google, but um, so here we go. I'm just going to walk down this corridor here. So let me just show you from this. Can you hear the music? I have to go backwards because I can't flip the camera around. And so here, can you hear the music going? Amazing, right? Very cool. And the building is amazing. Here it is here. So when you think of 
kings and queens walking around these premises. King Henry VIII. Um, just amazing. I'm just going to walk through here. can hear the music. I hope you can. It's so powerful. Can you hear that? so powerful it's gorgeous it's amazing like what a building really <laughs> Chris is following me I don't think she expected me to walk all the way through here because we've got to catch the the uh, the ferry across but let me walk through to this side here and and there you have it. Let me just swing around here now. So these young girls have heard the music and it's drawn them into the tunnel. Do you see that? Can you hear it, Janie? You can hear it. That's brilliant. That's so awesome. I mean, that's just so powerful. And then you can see the front of that building here. Absolutely awesome, that. Brilliant stuff. Um, I'm just wondering whether we can... Do we have to walk back through to get back? Did you hear all that music? From it's Les just... Mis. From Les Mis. Yeah. From Les Mis. How cool is that? We'll wander back through and we'll see if we can capture some more of that music. Janie heard it. Yeah? Did you yeah. Know? It was so powerful walking through here. It's one of my favourite songs at the end of the day. Chris's favourite song. It gave you goosebumps walking through this. I imagine King Henry VIII and some of the dignitaries that would yeah. come through here. And actually, let me just swing around here without, as if I'm peering through the windows of their rehearsal. But can you see that old uh, water pump for the horses and to fill up the troughs for the horses? Um, fabulous. Now, what is this over here? I was going to say a bell, but I didn't really want to... Can you hear that? The music from Les Mis. That's brilliant. That's very cool. That was a really good little diversion, I think. Now this looks like a bell. Uh, it looks like there's no labeling on it, but it's quite an old structure by the looks of things uh, with the timber base. And if I look, one more look at that. Look at that. Look at the look of that building. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Is that just phenomenal? You yeah. can imagine just back in the day, can't you? Yeah. Carriages coming yep. through. Yep. Horses and carriages coming through this entrance here. Awesome stuff. So, so glad to have shared that with you and uh, just taking you on this tour of Greenwich and sharing everything that we're seeing through our eyes even though it's not very educated on history. Um, Janie's helped us out. I'm going to swing around and you're going to see that, that tunnel there. Okay, so you see the round dome just over my left shoulder this side. Uh, it's the tunnel. Go and check out, go and check this out while you're there. Okay, she's given us a link to go and check it out. Steve's watching. Bring them on camera. Did, did you hear that? Did you see? Can yeah. you read that? Yeah. It just says you can add them to this call, make them present in the... Oh, do I add them? No. Okay. I'll bring them in on the actual live. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, that's clever. I didn't know that you could do that. Yeah. That's very clever, right? Okay, so that's another share from Greenwich. We didn't expect to be sharing that with you, and we have. And um, 
it's a very special place, a beautiful place to come and visit. There's something right over there too, Chris. See right up on the, there's the meantime, Greenwich Mean Time. There it is. Right up there. We found it. <laughs> From a distance. So we found Greenwich Mean Time where the ball drops. We've just seen it. Um, how are you doing, Steve? We're really well. Really well. We're um, just walking around Greenwich at the moment. We're just bringing Greenwich to everyone, to our members and to the Australians back home as well. So it's a very, very special place. We've enjoyed the history here. We've enjoyed the afternoon. We went to Greenwich Markets. We didn't bring that. Did we bring that to them? No, we did a quick something. We did a quick video from Greenwich Markets. That was an incredible place too. Food everywhere. Food. So much great food to, to try and to test. And it's just good food. Whoops. Oh, that's all right. Oop. Dogs. <laughs> um, you are... I've got to really get my reading glasses on here. You... Are on the meridians then? Yes. Okay. Start of time itself. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Zero latitude, I think it's called. Okay, so we are too. Fascinating, it really is. And just some beautiful buildings and beautiful history. It's really evident in the streets that we're walking on. Um, that's our share. Um, no big insights, really. Just taking you on our tour through the eyes of us. And um, for those back home in Australia, or for those around the world, or for those even in England that haven't even been to certain places. I know for us in Australia, people say, have you visited somewhere? And we say, no, we haven't. Because sometimes when we live in our own country, we don't actually visit all the things that we should do. Um, so it's a bit of a message, I think. You have beautiful things in your own country and I think even just getting out and sharing aspects of your own country, people will appreciate and really enjoy. Um, so that's my share here from Greenwich. Over and out. Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Very good. Over and out here from Greenwich in uh, the UK. Bye, everyone.